welcome back. Like I promised last week, I'm going to be doing an example of neutral slash colorful glam. Today I did colorful, but I'm getting straight into it, doing my brows as always with my Elmer's glue and a spoolie and just going ahead and adding all the product in my brow and pressing down as I do so. And then once I'm comfortable with the position that they're in, I'll go ahead with my spoolie and drag it across the top like so. And then now that my brows were in a position that I like, I go ahead and apply some concealer. I would usually do an eyeshadow primer, but I don't have any right now. So I do use my L'Oreal concealer time to time. And that's pretty much what I've been sticking with. And then the palette I'm using today is Me, Myself, and Mitchell from Mima Mitchell. And I'm just going ahead with that light yellow shade and I'm just going directly underneath my brow to kind of mute it um i don't want any brightness underneath my brow i pretty much only added the concealer just to make sure that it would stay on or get pigment etc but i definitely don't want any bright concealer underneath my brows it's not my look anymore i don't really like it so i just go ahead and mute that concealer underneath my brow and decide my shape i want this is the shape that i went with it's a blue sharp liner today it's gonna be faded in the middle with some light blue so if you're interested stick with me it's a super easy look for any beginner any beginners that want to look like they actually you know got some bars because it does look a lot harder than it is it's super simple so i go ahead with a flat or a smudger brush this is actually a smudger brush from morphe and i'm going and just dragging it in a straight line i want to make sure that there's no sparse areas, so basically everything has a dark coat and not um, faded in any spots. I want to make sure that everything is dark blue. It's also super important to remember to be patient with yourself and to take your time with makeup. That is how you learn. That's how I learned. And if I would have given up on half the looks that I didn't like, I wouldn't have any TikTok videos right now because... There are some things that I, you know, when you get into it or when you get into makeup, you start seeing little things you like or prefer on your face. So it can be discouraging in the beginning or in the middle or whatever step you're in. But I'm telling you, just push it to the end and see. And I guarantee you, you'll like it more than you expected or you'll be happy that you finished it and that you know what you would do differently the next time. So now I'm going ahead with a little blending brush and I'm just going to buff out the inner edges of that liner that I created, that little shape. Nothing on the outer edge. We want everything to be sharp on the outside. It's going to be a super sharp wing, like I said, a million times. And then if you lose your depth, you can keep adding it, but you want to make sure that everything was blended. And then I did go in with a lighter blue. Um, this one was not in the Me, Myself, and Mitchell palette. This was actually in the Homegirls Beauty palette um palette i believe and then i did want it a little bit lighter after doing this blue step right here i was just sharpening up the edges right here but i wanted it a little lighter and a trick that i usually use for any light shade or bright colors is to just add a little layer of white or to set my lid with white before applying the color because even though concealer does help with the pigment it does make colors a little bit darker than they are in the palette so sometimes setting your lid with like a white or a super light nude um, helps to get you that brightness from the color that you originally wanted. So that's what I did here. After my blue was applied in the center, I went ahead with my flat brush and I added some white just to lighten it up even more and give it even more of an ombre effect. So you can't see it in my face, but this step right here is where I started seeing, okay, this is exactly what I wanted. Because this is what I imagined rather than the light blue that was on before. It wasn't light enough for me, so it was starting to come together and it looked pretty good to me in my opinion. So I just stuck it out. Um, I know it looks a little crazy when you don't have any face makeup on or eyelashes on after your face is already done. But I'm telling you, put those lashes on and you will see a difference. So I'm going ahead and I'm priming my face twice with the Milk Hydro Gripping Primer. And then after that, I'm going to prime it with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Primer. This you can use alone or you can use it as foundation. Oh wait, I said that already. So you can use it alone or 
you can use it as primer which is what i'm doing so it just gives you like this is the primer the charlotte tilbury primer this gives you just like a nice little sheen um like glow so it's nice i always prefer my gripping primer so this one on top of my gripping primer now I'm going ahead with my airbrush flawless foundation from Charlotte Tilbury as well and I'm using a foundation brush to apply it however I always make sure to buff it out and you know blend it the final blends with a beauty blender because I don't want any streaks in my foundation I don't want it to dry like that and this foundation does dry pretty nice it's it's kind of matte in my opinion I don't know if that's how the formula was made or if it's my primers or whatever but it did dry pretty well and decently so I go ahead with a pretty decent amount. Um, I only do like two pumps max. You don't need to go crazy, especially if you're using a brush. I feel like brushes don't really eat up as much product as beauty blenders do because beauty blenders are literally a sponge. So they absorb everything you put on it. And yeah, so that's why I do a brush and then beauty blender because I, do, I don't mind if it blends... Um, poorly but i don't want my beauty blender to soak up all the product because i run out of so much foundation just using my beauty beauty blender so next is my liquid contour this is the bare mineral stick foundation in the shade sienna and I use this foundation like I've explained a couple times because it does blend a lot easier than a contour stick or at least the contour sticks that I have tried in the past, which is a lot. Um, so it's just been what's stuck for me and I just buff it out a little bit, you know, nothing crazy because we are going to do some concealer. So it is okay to leave it a little bit crazy and dark because it will get lightened up a lot. I have to think of how to say that right sometimes words just don't sound right but then i'm going in with my elf concealer this is the shade light beige and i'm obviously going to blend it out with my beauty blender because i do it every single time and then after i set everything and i make sure everything is all blended no harsh lines i'm super cautious of my eyeshadow which you gotta be unless you want to do it all over again and you have patience unlike me which I don't. If I would have got it in my eyeshadow, I would have washed everything off. And no, I told you guys to finish to the end, but I'm a hypocrite. Now I'm just playing. But I do get really impatient. So it is annoying when I mess up. And I will take a long break and finish it. But it gets done somehow. And then I do make sure to go in those crevices of that nose. Because believe it or not, foundation gets up in there and it creases. And it looks a little crazy if you don't blend it. So... I'm making a lot of ugly faces, but that's okay because we got some creases to fill. And then I'm going directly after with my setting powder, which is from Beauty Bakery. And I'm setting underneath my eyes and I'm making sure to not leave any loose powder underneath my eye and just pressing it in. I don't need to have loose powder, just powder. So on top of that, I also have been using the L'Oreal Infallible Press Foundation that everyone was like raving about on tiktok i ended up trying it underneath my eyes and i literally fell in love so that light shade that you see applied right now is what that what i'm applying it's powder foundation so it is basically double coverage if you really think about it because i am going on top of concealer with foundation so it's been really fire you know i've been doing that a lot lately it's like once i do one thing it sticks and i just keep it in my routine if i like it so now i'm going ahead and contouring my nose the usual light to dark so i do highlight the tip and the bridge of my nose and then go straight for the contour i can as you can see i went a little crazy with the contour but i didn't panic because it does calm down a lot since we're using a lot of translucent powder to bake the sides and to bake on top so after I'm done with the contour shades, I do go back in with the light powder and then I just set everything on the tip on the bridge of my nose, make sure everything's the shape that I want it to be, nothing going off on the edge because the white will set and it will be more prominent than the contour area. So after I'm done, finally, after I'm done being a perfectionist, basically, I go ahead and with my flower powder, from beauty bakery or the l'oreal powder that i was talking about i went in with the 
translucent powder from beauty bakery today but usually that foundation really does hit different honestly i gotta go back to walgreens or cvs and go get another one just get a bunch of them why not And now I went ahead with my powder contour. This is that Pink Leaf Cosmetics Roll Up and Glow Up palette. And I've talked about it a million times. I'll continue to talk about it. Um, it's one of my favorites, not only because it has contour, but because it also has blush and highlight. So it's literally like all in one. And that's super, super convenient, especially when you have a lot of makeup and you're traveling and you just need to grab one thing and not six. So super convenient this is that pink og blush that i'm applying that is also from the pink leaf cosmetics roll up and glow up palette and if you are ever interested in shopping pink leaf cosmetics do it but while doing it make sure you use my code mawelina xo and fun fact since i just realized i always talk about them but i never even mentioned why they were actually my first pr like Ever. so that's why i really 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 ride by this company a lot but also because their products are amazing their lashes are bombed and the company is just great so that's why i be gassing them up so hard next i go in with my airbrush flawless setting spray from charlotte tilbury this has been my favorite setting spray that i've ever tried and i know that's like saying a lot but it's because i mean it this setting spray is amazing so basically charlotte tilbury if you're hearing this please sponsor me actually you know guys she actually commented on one of my posts on instagram so i was i was pretty geeked over that but anyways i'm going in with my omega lashes also code maulina mua these are the style jasmine i'm just applying my lash glue right on top of my lashes i'm trying to avoid the hair but you know it's almost impossible and I'm just going ahead and I'm going to let that get tacky before applying anything because I don't want to have to work with it and hassle with it too much. And a little bit goes a long way. Now I go ahead and just go from the outer corner to the inner corner. I just make sure that end is secure and then the middle and then the front of the lash goes last for me that's what's worked the best for me and i'm already obsessed with the lash that i chose because just look at it and don't look at it coming off my eye just look at the lash okay don't be a hater but go ahead and pop on that second lash since the other eye should be tacky by now you should be able to do both in one step and it should be really quick and simple so i know that uh, a lot of people struggle with like putting on eyelashes and stuff just know that it takes patience and it takes practice so just keep practicing look a little out of pocket a couple days in a row and humble yourself so i did my lips off camera and i'm adding some butter mascara right now but my lips are la girl brown lip liner and of course the usual Boston brand in the center so for anyone interested in that which i know there are going to be people interested in that even if you don't say it okay i know i could read your mind and we got it like that our relationship is just like that so this is the final product and i absolutely love this look i it came out so much better than i even imagined and honestly i think i'm really obsessed with blue right now and it just it just hit different so i really like how this came out and i hope you guys do too and next week will be the look um the look that i mentioned in the first video but it's gonna be the colorful slash neutral glam with add-ons so we shall see what add-ons i choose um, maybe i'll get a little creative with it maybe i won't but i hope to see you guys next week and thank you for getting this far make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'm out of breath so i will see you next week bye <laughs>